Hey guys, let's keep this rolling. We're dealing with imaginary numbers again. This time we are dealing with arithmetic with it. So adding, subtracting, multiplying, dividing imaginary numbers. The good news is it's pretty easy. It's just a matter of doing it. Treat I like a variable, meaning that like if I had uh, three plus two X and four plus five X, and I wanted to add those together, you would add the, whoa, let's move my face out of the way. Three plus four would get me seven and two X plus five X would get me seven X. I just added like terms. That's pretty much it. If you can do that, you can do everything we're gonna do, at least on the front side of this. All right, let's see how we do with it and we'll roll from there. Let's go. All right, so we are adding imaginary numbers. Like I just said, we are combining like terms. So seven and negative two, those are like terms because they don't have I's with them. Seven plus negative two, that's five. Three I plus five I, if you had three apples and five apples, how many apples do you have? Same thing here, three I's plus five I's gets you eight I's, done. If I do subtracting, the only thing, same exact concept here when subtracting, the only difference is, hey, don't forget to distribute that negative sign because I'm subtracting two parts there. So I could rewrite that as minus six plus eight I. Once you've distributed the negative, same thing. Negative 10, negative six, negative 16, two I and eight I, 10 I. Down below, I'm adding. So since I'm adding, I'm just combining like terms. 13 minus 10 is three. I plus two I is three I. Oh, we got to distribute here because we got a minus sign in between. So distribute, distribute. So it's really six minus 10 I plus two minus four I. Combine like terms, negative 10 I and negative four I, and then the six and the two. Six and two is eight. Negative 10 minus four more would be negative 14 I. Adding and subtracting imaginary numbers is easy. Don't make it harder than that. Now let's talk about multiplying imaginary numbers. Understand this, I is equal to the square root of negative one. That's what we talked about in our last video. Okay, so I squared is the square root of negative one squared. All right, so think about what happens here. If I have a square and a square root, how are those two things related? Well, those two things are inverses of each other, meaning they're opposites. So if I square a square root, those two things are gonna cancel. And if they cancel out, I am back to just a normal negative one. So I squared is negative one. That's a really important concept uh, for the rest of this lesson. All right, so first one here, easy. We got a seven, let's distribute. Seven times three, 21. Seven times two I, 14 I. Easy. Same thing's gonna happen here, five I times one. That's five I. Then I'm gonna take five I times six I. Well, five times six, think of that as five X times six X. 5x times 6x is 30x squared. 5i times 6i is 30i squared. 30i squared. But we're going to simplify this because we said right here that i squared is the same thing as negative 1. And so where this i squared is, I'm going to plug in a negative 1. And so what ends up happening here is my answer is going to be 5i, and then it becomes minus 30 because I got 30 times negative one. That right there is me multiplying those imaginaries together and simplifying. So not too bad, let's get to foiling. So you know how to foil, first times first, six. Three times that one, we distributed the three to both of them. Then I'm gonna distribute this five i to both things. So five i times two, and I'm, I'm gonna show you how I like to do this. I'm gonna write it underneath five i times two is 10 i and i like just stacking them because it puts the imaginary numbers next to each other you don't have to do that though and then 5i times 2i would be 10i squared so let's add those together it's going to get me 6 plus 16i plus 10i squared but what does i squared equal I squared is the same thing as negative one. So this is really like 10 times negative one, or in other words, that's negative 10. So I'm gonna be able to combine this with this, negative 10 plus six, oh, that's negative four plus 16i. That is my final answer. 
And so basically that I squared is going to make it negative and then work from there. Let's do another. 6 times 1. 6 times negative 5i, so negative 30i. Then we're going to do i times 1. So this is going to be 1i, and i times negative 5i would be negative 5i squared. Put those together. Oh, negative 5i squared, that's the same thing as negative 5 times negative 1, or in other words, this is plus 5. So I'm going to go ahead and combine these two things. 6 and 5 gets me 11 minus 29i. Multiplying, again, not that tough. Once you realize this, it's easy. Now let's get to the back side. This is a little less fun. We do not like having i in our denominator, okay? i cannot be on the bottom of a fraction. So we need to, what we call, rationalize that denominator, okay? We get that i out of the denominator. And the way we do that is we are going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the bottom, the conjugate, okay? The phrase the conjugate sounds scary. It is this. If you have three plus i, the conjugate of that is three minus i. If I had negative two plus uh, negative two minus seven i, the conjugate of that is negative two plus seven i. That's it. Conjugates are the same thing except the sign in front of the imaginary part. We are going to change the sign. Change the sign in front of the imaginary part. All right. So to get a rationalized denominator. We are going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate. And if you do it right, you're going to get rid of i in your denominator. This is the same as this. It's just written in a form where i is not in the denominator. Let's try it. Number six. No, I'm sorry. Number nine. 6i times 2 minus i. So I don't like i in the denominator. So to get rid of that, I'm going to multiply by the conjugate. So the conjugate of 2 minus i is going to be 2 plus i. We change the sign. Two plus i. And you can do this different ways. I always like to kind of come down below here and work this out. So I'm taking 2 minus i times 2 plus i. And we've done this before. This is FOIL. And we just did it 30 seconds ago. 2 times 2 is 4. 2 times i is 2i. Then we do the other one. Negative i times 2 is negative 2i. And negative i times i would be negative i squared. Put those together. Those two things would cancel. Negative i squared, oh, that's like minus negative 1. And if I minus negative 1, I'm really adding it. It is 5. So my new denominator is going to be 5 when I multiply these two things together. Notice that it no longer has an imaginary in it. If you did it correctly, if you multiplied by the conjugate, you're not going to have an imaginary number in your denominator anymore, which is what we were looking for. Now we're going to multiply the two things on top, 6i times 2 plus i. This is not a FOIL, it's just a distribute. So 6i times 2 would be 12i. 6i times i would be 6i squared. So what is 6i squared? Oh, that's really 6 times negative 1, so it's really like a negative 6 here. Negative 6 plus 12i, that's what's going to go on top. This is the same thing as this. It just looks different, okay? It's the same thing with a rationalized denominator, meaning there's no longer I in the denominator. That's it. We could do a thousand of these. You don't need to. Let's do one more. All right, we're rationalizing it because we don't like I in the denominator. To get rid of I in the denominator, we're going to multiply both the top and the bottom by the conjugate here. So one minus three I. The conjugate of that is change the sign in front of the imaginary part. So I'm going to come down below and FOIL that. Multiply. Sorry. I'm tired of talking for a second. I need a break every once in a while. We multiply those things together. I get one. Those two things will cancel. Negative 9 times I squared is really like plus 9. Because remember... I squared is negative 1. So 1 plus 9, my denominator is 10. Now I'm going to do the numerator here. So 2 plus 4i times 1 plus 3i. I'm going to FOIL that out. So 2 plus 6i 
plus 4i plus 12i squared. Combine things to 10i. 12i squared, that's like 12 times negative 1, or in other words, negative 12. Combine these two guys together, 2 minus 12, that is negative 10, plus 10i. We are good there, except we can simplify that. This first one I didn't talk about it at all, because I couldn't simplify, because not everything is divisible by 5. But in this one, everything is divisible by 10. So since I can divide everything by 10, let's divide everything by 10. So negative 10 divided by 10 would get me just negative 1. And 10i divided by 10 would just get me i. That's the simplified version. A lot look better looking than that first one. But notice that no longer do I have an imaginary number in the denominator. Hope that makes sense. It's a little tricky, but in general, it's not that bad. Remember, treat i like a variable that you're only going to combine it with like terms. And if you get i squared, you got to multiply. Or I'm sorry, i squared means negative 1. Hope it helps. If not, ask some questions.